All right, everyone. We've got even more action from this year's NCAA East Regionals, and the abilities that these athletes are showing is truly remarkable. In the men's 100-meter quarterfinals, we thankfully get to see a better racing angle than what we saw a few days earlier, because this time we're actually on the home stretch, not looking across the entire track. So thanks for that. But what was even more enjoyable than this better angle here were the performances that these athletes threw down. Now keep in mind that only the top three athletes in each heat automatically qualify into the NCAA Finals. So as you can probably imagine, it was constantly a mad dash to the finish line in each of these heats. For the opening heat, we saw an explosive start from Dante Brown and Alaba Akintola in lane 3 and 4. However, over the closing stages, we saw Javante Harding take off, winning this opening heat in 10.08 seconds, a time that tied his own personal record. Finishing in second was Alaba Akintola from Middle Tennessee in 10.18 seconds, and also finishing in third was Matthew Bowling also in 10.18 seconds. These three would ultimately be the only qualifiers from this opening heat, meaning that over the next two 100 meter races, the overall speed would only increase. For the second heat, we saw the returning SEC champion Favor Ashe square off against the fastest man in the opening rounds, Ismail Kone from New Orleans. And even though Kone had an early slip up over the opening 20 meters, he somehow managed to close the gap on Favor Ashe and win the second heat in 10.11 seconds, which is quite extraordinary because you can clearly see that on his third or fourth step that he lost his racing momentum. But just take a look at his endless focus and determination, ultimately leading in this second heat victory. This only further showcases this young athlete's talent. After running a 10 flat on day one, he's now followed up with a very impressive come from behind victory. And he did this against the SEC champion from Tennessee, Favor Ashe. These opening two heats already showcase some of the most talented athletes in the entire nation. However, for the third and final heat, we saw a very familiar face once again blow our minds. After a fair start, Joseph Fonbelay in lane 5 was slightly behind the entire field. In fact, I'm going to pause the video right here so that you can see just how much ground that he would have to make up if he wanted to win this third heat. And despite the nearly impossible odds at taking the W here, Fonbelay closed like an absolute bullet, winning this race in 10.04 seconds. And don't forget, the track is wet here, given that it rained just a few hours earlier. Simply amazing. At this point, we've seen this come from behind victory countless times, but it usually only happens in the 200 meters. So to see it happening constantly now in the 100 is pretty remarkable. And against all odds, Fonbelay now comes away from this year's Eastern preliminaries as the favorite in the 100 meter dash. In order to qualify into this year's NCAA Finals in the 100 meters, you had to run a time of at least 10.21 seconds. And given the quality of these 12 athletes from the East, I think we'll see at least three or maybe four of them go on to break the 10 second barrier in this year's NCAA Finals. Thanks for watching everyone. And as always, until next time.